If we will make a music retrospective of the year 2005, then we'll have to remember Crazy Frog. Imagine that the music video had such success that they made a video game about it. And then another one. Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about the two Crazy Frog games for the Sony PS2. The games aren't that fun. I'm amazed that after they made the first game they still made another one. Well, to be fair it wasn't that hard to make a second one. The two games are shallow and kind of poorly executed. They are decent, but I wouldn't return them unless I want to make a YouTube video about them or if I want to play the game with friends instead of watching some memes. What I want to say is that the games are meme material. The game's audio has different crazy frog tracks and the undying classic, which I can't put in the background because I don't want to risk the video being taken down, but Google the song, Google the Crazy Frog song, you'll recognize it if you were partying in the year 2005. So as I said, the games feel like meme material, because they are games made after a living meme. I know that back then memes weren't a thing. But still, it's the best explanation to describe why they made the games. The icon was popular, so why not make a quick cash-in? On paper, the games are good. You have races, battle stages and even mini-games. But the execution is poor. During races you either are way in front of everyone or you are last. I haven't really seen a middle where you actually compete. No, you are either last or first. In the first game you have some power-ups, but in the second one you get way more. And the power-ups in the second game sound again good on paper, but the execution is poor. And it doesn't really matter that you have power-ups, since the second game has the same issue as the first one. You are either first or last, and without opponents near you, having power-ups is kind of useless. But I have to admit that a nice feature is the split-screen multiplayer. So as I said, the games are meme material. You can have some minutes of fun trying the games out with friends. But even with friends, the games aren't really something. They are dull, you'll get bored easily by the games. And I was talking about the second game having mini-games. Well, the mini-games are nice that... It, it, it's nice that they are there, but... They are kind of useless and bad and poorly executed and uninteresting. Also the second game has more detailed tracks. I find the tracks in the second game more beautiful. The games could have been something, but they turned out poorly executed. They are decent but they get dull pretty fast. As an objective opinion, as I said, they are decent. They are not really that bad. I mean, the controls are okay, the games pack some decent amount of content, they have races, they have 8 playable characters, a handful of nice looking tracks, and they even have battle stages and the battle arenas are okay but as I said if you're like me you are most probably going to get bored by the games easily the games are good only for novelty reasons just to check them out to see some games made after some music videos but aside of that the games are pretty dull, or at least they get dull really fast, even if they can be considered decent. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.